So today I'll be showing you how I made my Windows 10 feel less like Windows and more like Linux. Hey there, it's Tech with Benham. But before we dive in, a quick shout out to Vinstar. His work definitely sparked this whole setup for me. It's worth checking out if you're into this kind of customization. Let's get started. Now, here's how I customize my system from top to bottom. First, I install the theme patcher. What the theme patcher does is it lets Windows accept that party themes. Without it, you have no style. I then slapped on a minimal wallpaper, something clean but just enough to breathe. Next, I extracted the paranoid Android theme files and moved them to this location. Now, doing that automatically makes the theme available under personalization settings. What I did next after that was switching over to the sweet spot theme in the personalization settings. It's dark and really causes no fuss. Now for the Windows Explorer, I installed old new Explorer and in its settings, I enabled use command bar instead of ribbon, disabled enable glass on navigation bar and use alternate navigation button style. It looks way much cleaner compared to the default Windows Explorer. Then came the icons. I extracted the sweet paranoid icon pack, renamed the preferred set by erasing that dot remove extension and ran it with 7TSP. But before running 7TSP, you'll need to rename the dot ee file to dot exe. After doing that, run the 7TSP and install the icon pack. Now give it time to apply the custom icon pack. It will prompt you to reboot the system as soon as it's done. Accept the reboot. Look, look at that. Now the taskbar. For the taskbar, I used status bug. That gave me the freedom to really shape the lower edge. Added a custom start orb. Slim things down with this bad boy. Onto the desktop, I installed Nexus Dock for that floating Linux-like dock feel. Next, I copied the Candy Icons folder directly to the C drive. Extracted the candy theme setup and restored the backup file from within Nexus settings under the advanced tab. I cleaned up search and task view by copying their folders to the candy icons directory in the C drive, changed their shortcuts manually. Hit the built-in icons from taskbar, then replace them with my custom shortcut versions. I made sure everything else on my desktop had a matching icon. Did that by creating shortcuts, change their icons, unpin the defaults and pin the fresh ones. I then picked a startup orb I liked and swapped it using status bug. For the final touches, I added some flavor with rain meter. I used the Mon skin for the light white widgets. You could leave that out or use anything else. Just apply whatever keeps your desktop feeling alive but not cluttered. And that's how I flipped my Windows 10 into something that feels like Linux. Let me know if you want the files or any help tweaking yours. Until then, this is Tech with Benham.